dying for Eric plays um, City Skylines 2. So uh, when I was last um, playing, I um, I had uh, I was I was doing a stream and uh, I was working on mass transit. Uh, I took a look at the numbers before I started mucking with stuff. I'm back to about roughly the same numbers. I've got about le a thousand less people a month using the trams, um, slightly more people using the subway, and the other numbers are comparable to what they were before. Um, so there's um, something I'd like to do here. Um, and I, I don't remember exactly what it was. Um... Triceratops. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, oh, Triceratops football field. Okay. Um, so, so before I do anything else, let's um, let's have more uh, college students be able to come here by expanding it. There we go. Five hundred more people can go there. The other thing I really want to do before I declare this area temporarily finished is that I want another bus station here. Um, I want to uh, have basically people that get um, off the train to be able to come up into um, upper meadow acres and spring gardens, including like kind of stopping outside the um, this station, which is going to stay here. This line might go away. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, so this guy here is complaining about not enough customers. Um, so, uh, let me go ahead and unpause it. No reason to keep this paused. Um, I'm going to grab, uh, da -da 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 -da. do I need another bus station? Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, maybe we put one, maybe we put one across the street from this, from the college. Um, it's tiny enough. Let me think about something. All right, I added a one-way bus lane. You know what, maybe I need to turn this off because I cannot see what's going on here. There we go. Don't know why this doesn't want to attach to this street. I guess we'll do something like that. Oh, it needs regular cars to be able to go there for some reason? Oh, because it could have a taxi stand. That's why. Okay. That's fine. We'll get rid of that. But wait, taxi and bus. I I don't know. Perhaps a bug. Uh place? Oh, whoopsie daisy. Uh definitely a bug of some sort. You do what I want to thank you. All right, so and I grab our bus line. Oh no, we need to make our stops first. Um. All right, so we'll pick up kids or whoever from there. We'll go down and up, and. Uh, let's see. We so we can connect here. All right. So let's see. From here, uh, they could already get on that subway. So there's no benefit to connecting there. But maybe we go here and here. 
cross over and go here and here. Come down. Let's see, I need a better sense of scale. Here and here. Here and here. All right, and then we would go down and back. Okay, so let's see here. We'll grab, we'll make this one bluish. We'll grab there. We'll go here. We will go up to there. Over there. Wrong says street. There we go. I'm gonna end it, but then I'm gonna add another stop. Okay, so that finishes that one. But now I'm going to say that we should definitely have another stop. Issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try there. to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been and then we'll say, hey, please make a stop right there. All right, cool. So, here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what this is. Um, housing shortage is driving up prices. Yeah, we're out of vehicles. Um, this is uh, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an train to welcome, Professor. So, a house spring and sterling trying to move here, right? Clockwise, a program to desire certain, right? And then I'm gonna go the other way, and then we will fix our vehicle situation, or at least attempt to. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Now we're gonna go a little bit darker. By certain metrics, perhaps. Grab you. In the short term. I like the sound of that. Go here. Is the study of a statistical go here. And its effect on the human go here. The nice thing is we can always easily add more stops if I've spaced these too far apart. What's harder to do? Not super hard, but harder to do is eliminate stops. All right, and then come here, and then back to where we started. Perfect. All right, so we'll go to our line tool. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. All right, I, uh, what I want to do is right size my transportation lines because uh, I don't know if you noticed there, but it, it, it can't, one of these lines here, there's no, uh, not enough buses for the line. So we're going to start with buses and like this one here that only has 5% utilization, let's um, drop the number of vehicles to the minimum which is five, you know, because of the length of the line. I'm going to let things run so that um, as we're moving these things, things are um, right sizing. Um, and then we'll go to Birdsong Glade, which again does not need 10 buses. Now, it could, I think the reason it minimizes to five is that we've got a lot of um, territory to cover and we don't want people waiting forever just, just because the buses aren't full when they come by. Um, so, see, this one's already started to go up, which is great. 
Um, so Empire Glade at 25%. Maybe we won't drop it all the way. Holy moly, I've got a lot of stops there. But um, maybe we'll drop it to 17 and see where that goes. Um, all right, Johnson Glen. Uh, now, uh, based on what I saw when, um, uh, what's his name? Um, City Planner Plays was doing something like this is that it can take a while for the sim to like recalibrate. And so you're like back and forth, back and forth. But, um, but some of these where it's like such small percentages, we can definitely drop it to the minimum. Um, let's see, 16 over here. And hopefully that gets us a bus available up here. Um, 16, we'll drop it to maybe, oops, not the minimum, maybe one up from the minimum. There we go. <coughs> All right, let's see here. I don't remember where I was. All right, let's try University Loop. Nope, that one's already the lowest. All right. Um, we'll let that one drop. That's fine. That one doesn't seem like there's a lot of stops or anything. All right, so now has utilization, so eh, pretty stable for the most part. All right, Orchard View. All right, looks like this one finally got a bus, which is good. But we'll just keep doing this. Orchard View, Orchard Train Station. All right, so that one's already at the lowest. one here definitely go lower I think what happens is they have to finish their route and then start a new route and then the game can kind of calculate where things are going to be all right Pearl Brook this is good because um I'm seeing here that uh, Sunnyside clockwise is probably going to need some more buses, so I'm glad I'm freeing up some buses here. Alright, so come in here. Um, part of the, the reason, and this is going to be especially important when I get to the trams, that um, City Planner pl plays mentioned for... Um, is uh, you can end up with a lot of congestion if you have... Um, many vehicles on the road and not enough utilization. So we definitely want to make sure these are right-sized. Yeah, this one's almost at 100% utilization, so we're going to go here. This is the clockwise. We're going to bump it up by a bus. Let's see if that helps things. You definitely always want a little bit of leeway so you don't realize like you're like you've got too many buses when it's too late all right this one 46 we could probably drop it by one maybe there we go all right solar plant and these two If it's zero percent, we're gonna drop the vehicles for now. All right, we'll let this drop uh, by one. Okay, cool. So that finishes off the buses. Um, let's grab our trains here. Um. Let's see, is, does just nobody want to go to Leechburg or... 
No, it does. It does have a vehicle. Just nobody wants to go to Leechburg. All right. Um, fair enough. Uh, these look roughly where they should be. I think we'll we'll let that go. We come to the trams. We're gonna drop these. Hopefully, um, keep them from messing with traffic. <laughs> All right. And finally, subways. Holy moly. A lot of people using that one. Alright, let's see. Barlow way to stadium. You know what? Two vehicles is probably fine. One, 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 two. This one should probably only have one. do that it just didn't take yet all right these last three probably don't need to either At some point, I'm going to play with the ticket price as well. See if that helps to goose ridership. And we'll leave that one alone. All right. I'm just going to do some quick zoning. And then that'll be it for today. So I think, as I've done in the past, I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to put commercial around the, the college. I think, you know, there'd be people who would want to offer... Um, Really, really that difficult to get both sides to be 90. All right, I'm going to do an alley right back here. But I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to stop right there. All right. So we're going to grab our commercial. And we're going to do commercial. Let's see. Commercial here. And we're going to have offices here. Maybe some offices that are doing research with the universities or something. Nope, they don't want to be there. They do want to be there, though. Uh, so we will change that to blue. I think they want to be there. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. All right. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. All right, I'm going to do one more block here. This is going to be high density residential. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. A housing um, shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So, a housing shortage is bad for the. All right. Um, but rather than having a program to desire sort of the, peda the pedestrian walkway through there, 
which are entirely apart from the actual uh, rewards in Freud. For example, consider capital. One, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing I'm going to grab a pedestrian street, which I think will allow me to do a... Um, yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But while we are discussing... Well, I'm going to do a park off of it. ...abstraction and its effect on the human... Thank fight. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. We're going to have like a park complex here. Right, we're an expansive metropolis. That's all. And here we'll have some parking. Customers, my butt. Offices right there. All right. Final thing before we go is I'm going to do some industrial but over here where we know it's blowing away oh you know what is it worth spanning out to the highway here maybe to need another tile. Luckily, I've got enough money that I don't have to worry about the maintenance yet. I'll grab that tile. Okay. So, coming in here. Let's do our usual...
That seems a bit much. Uh, now we've just done something weird. at all, did it? It sure didn't. Try that again. The right tool this time. go. Sure, no crosswalks here, please. Yeah, we can have a stop sign, why not? But that means that I should probably do this one about the same place. Care of that direction. Over here. And over here. Okay. That roughly does what it should, except no crosswalks, please. Is that car doing? Alright, rule tools. No left turns here, guys. Let's not be dumb.
All right. I need to redo this. This is not right. There we go. That's better. this side though you would know you just let's see yeah we would just allow people to go that way why not we might expand this to two lanes later okay that's roughly what I want. Why did I want something different here? Because... How else were people going to get that way? But if they're coming from here, how would they go that way? They can't at the moment. I think getting on the highway fine the way it is. Getting off the highway though. I think I definitely wanna give people either way. This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imaginations as guides through a silent, audible masterpiece. All right, let's do. Sit listening at full volume, and our soul. I don't think we have we don't have the ability to really control that well. Let us not tarry. But that's fine. I guess we'll go ahead and just do it over here now, just so we have it out of the way. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the road. Hmm. Oh, Don't like I'd rather wait an hour that there's another light right there. Besides, Can we I never got anywhere. Get rid of that light. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area there we is go. more high-end stores, bringing right. the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I just mirror this. So we just come. Come out here. And... Going like that. There we go. I think that makes more sense. And then in this case, there's no forward. You already got off the highway. You're either going left or right. 
All right, cool. Now we got this going. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that helps with the supplies that my commercial needs. We head back over here. Residential has filled in. I'm gonna relocate this guy up there. And we're gonna upgrade the street. block Let's find a bus, one of our new bus lines. Whoa, look at this. I'm gonna pause right here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, everybody wants the buses. Holy shit. I'm gonna get a slightly, oops, slightly different angle here. Oh my gosh, this is bonkers. All right, what's 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 going on here? What is this? Seriously, where's my bus stop? Okay, this says, does this really say zero passengers waiting? I don't buy that for a minute. 797, <laughs> oh my God. And then I think, I think the crowd is, the, the, the line has gone so long that this bus can't go anywhere. It's like, uh, although it has no passengers. Holy smokes. 
653 passengers waiting. Oh my god. So if we were to go to buses... And... Sunny side. Oops. Clicked right out of it. You can see, yeah, right here. 79. 82. Nobody. Nobody. 264. Alright, so this one right here is, is that one right there, right? Yeah. I think... This is bonkers. Holy moly. I hate when this happens. Um, because it just blocks everything. This is insane. This is this is not how you form a queue, folks. Holy smokes. This is just this is too much, man. Wow. All right, well, we're not going to follow these buses because they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, and this yellow bus is probably going to get stuck in traffic now, too, with these people here. Wow. Way to freaking have a protest, man. <laughs> An unintentional protest. Um, That is nuts. Alright, well, forget the buses then, we will... Well, here's a yellow, maybe maybe when this bus... Alright, it's gonna drop off some passengers. Where's this one? Take me to bus. Alright, we'll follow this bus and that'll be the end of this video. See if they end up in the same stupid freaking road protest, essentially. Oh, did it clear somewhat? Looks like people finally got off the street. That's good. They seem to still be blocking my turquoise bus, but at least they got off the street. I, I know in, um, what was that called, uh, Verde Beach, um, City Planner players had to deal with something similar to this, but I, I don't think it's, the solution is adding more buses necessarily, I think it's just like a pathfinding situation where like like see right here this green bus oh no no they're probably loading and unloading yeah but yeah all these cars getting held behind this this shouldn't be this this bus needs to be the, the turquoise bus needs to be a little bit smarter about like not not being st there we go now we're moving Kind of. Or at least, I think he's at a position where he can load, maybe. Yep, he just loaded up. And then this one just got loaded, but now... We're waiting for more people to ghost their way into this train. I mean, uh, bus. Alright, we'll give it another second here, see if it goes. Actually... That's it. This has been Eric, playing City Skylines 2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.